don't you trouble by multinationals and the size of companies? And that's not what that's not what Adam Smith meant. Adam Smith didn't mean for Exxon to have a sixty and seventy percent profit. If you over hadn't, the, if you if you had first of all, of course I'm troubled by multinationals, in the sense that I would rather have a world in which there were a larger number of small companies. The question at issue is not that. The question is, what are your alternatives and how do you promote such a world? One of the major reasons you have multinationals and large companies now is precisely because of the roles, role which government plays. Here is Chrysler. Get back to it. The, the chairman of Chrysler is spending full time, has hired a whole group of lobbyists in Washington. He is engaging in a political campaign to get the government to bail him out. Mm -hmm. Now, is that a productive use of uh, uh, effort? If he did, weren't doing that, if he isn't bailed out, will the effect be that Chrysler will disappear? Not at all. Most bankrupt companies come back into operation with a new management and a clean sl financial slate and are more efficient. The fact that Chrysler goes bankrupt doesn't mean that his factories are going to go up in smoke. If they're worth using, they'll be bought by other people to be used. Like GM. And in fact, you'll have a strong, they might be. Doesn't that GM bother you? As compared with what? as compared to have the government own the factory and produce it? Do you, you know, can, can Sears buy Kmart too in your, in your room? Uh, of course. You think so? Sears has been one of the great protectors of the consumer all over, all during its ex existence. As a matter of fact, you say can Sears buy Kmart. The way Kmart has been growing, the question is going to be can Kmart buy Sears? <laughs> yeah. But, but, uh, <laughs> all right, but, but and I, that's an example. Now take that. In other words,